Hi. Hi, everyone. We are just here to explain to you how to do our winter break packet. Um, the kids have two weeks off for winter break, and we want them to lose as little information as possible. So if you can get them to do this winter break packet and bring it back with your initials in all these boxes, they will get a prize. And I'm going to get some pretty cool prizes, I think. Yeah. What do you think? I, I think, think this, I'm going to get Christmas type prizes. This one's worth a lot. So yep. we got to have some cool prizes. So encourage your kids to get this done while they're on winter break. Please, please, please. Okay, so the packet, again, it looks like it has for the other breaks. It, this is the uh, title page, I guess you want to call it. But it has, it tells you what the activities are and how many times they need to do it or how to do it. And then over here, when it's done, just initial, you don't need to sign just initial, so we know that it got completed. If they bring it back and there's no initials, we really can't give them a prize until we know for sure that they've completed it. So the first one on here says timed reading. And it says, please have a student pick four and complete the timings with each. There are several different readings in here. Some of them are longer and harder and some of them are more simple. So we have something for every level. Make sure that they are doing the reading, that you are not reading it to them. It's okay if you want to help support them, sound out words, or help with a sight word that they've forgotten, but they really need to be reading it to you, not you reading it to them. And it's a repeated reading, right? Yeah. So you need to have them read it four times. Yeah, so here's the... Here's the uh, checkoff sheet. So they are reading the same reading four times. And what you do is you see if they can get faster. So research has proven that repeated reading helps increase uh, reading speed and comprehension. And that's why we do it. So and you can make it fun by saying, hey, let's see if you can get faster and see, you know, if they can get faster. Maybe they they earn something yeah. or something like that. So you can make it make it fun. They and then the other thing is they get to pick the four that they want. Right. So, um, whatever they want to pick is, is fine, but we want them to read four stories four times each, preferably one story in the same setting. So, you're yeah. sitting there and you're reading that story four times. And there are a lot to choose from. They're all um, winter and Christmas oriented. So, all right. See, there's so many I'm having to flip through all of them. There's a lot. Okay. And that's probably the most important thing in this packet. It really is. If you do nothing else in this packet, I think that is the most important thing that you do. So at least try to get those readings They're going to be tested in that when they get back. Yeah, and they're doubles. We will be testing in reading, reading um, passages. passages and a little bit of comprehension too. So make sure they're doing it. It's, it's a really important skill. So the next thing up is our coal or Santa nonsense word game, and that is, this is the directions page, this is the tracker also, and we have it in English and in Spanish, and they, this is the game. So do you want to tell them how to play the game, Miss Cindy? Well, when you have this, first thing you need to do is cut these circles out, and then you can put them in a hat. You don't have to, but it makes it fun. Or a bag. Yeah. Or whatever. So in the in the little game, they had it in a Santa hat, mm -hmm. which was kind of fun. Um, so you got all these nonsense words, and then you've got some others. You have coal. See, there's the coal, and then you have you've got Santa. Ho ho ho. So you need to at least play it this way once. Okay, you can play it the second way if you want. Your, you and your child. So the first way you just cut out the nonsense words and that's all. And you put them in the Santa hat and they read as many as they can in one minute. They need to do this game four times at least. Now let's say they're done and you say, let's play this other way. Cut out the cold too, put everything in the Santa hat. This is not timed, it's just for fun. They draw out the circles. If they draw the coal, then they have to put three of their nonsense words that they read back into the bag. And if they draw the Santa, they get another turn. Yay! Yeah, and then you see at the end when all the cards are done, who won? So make sure you Super play fun. it the first way at least four times. Then if they want to play it the second way, they can. Now remember when they're reading the words, try to get them to read them as whole words, not 
sounding, they can sound it out in their head first or whisper it, whisper and sound it out, but they really need to be saying the whole word. Okay, the next thing is if there are two different game options, spin a chunk or spy a chunk. We're really going to be working on word chunks or uh, kind of like syllables, but a little bit different. But the first game is spy a chunk and you get a paper with this cute little magnifying glass. Just cut it out and cut out the middle so they can use it as a spying glass. And there's these cards, and their job is to try to find chunks in words, like rib, rib, oh, we're doing rib, oh, rib on, rib on, or, and then they put them together, rib and on, then, yeah, rib, rib on, and so their, the point is for them to find the chunks and then try to blend the word together. Here's cup, cake. What's the whole word together? Cupcake. So you can either do that spy a chunk, or they can do the spin a chunk, where you take a paper clip as the spinner. Whoa! Not like that. And you spin it. You're gonna spin one over here and one over here. So if they ch if they spun the wa. And then the N, W, N, blend it together. What's the word? W, N, when. Then they're going to come over here and they're going to decide, is that a real word or is that a nonsense word? If it's a real word, they're going to write it under good chunky. If it's a nonsense word, they're going to write it under funky chunky. So obviously we would write when, W-E-N, under funky chunky. Because the real word when is spelled, is spelled differently. So even though it sounds like the real word, it's not spelled correctly. So that's the other game. They need to play that game two times. They, they don't have to do both, but they can if they would like to, but they need to pick one game and play it at least two times. Um, next up is this cute little winter break writing. We're just wanting to get them to, we've really started working on writing complete sentences in class using capital at the beginning and a period or or some sort of punctuation at the end. So, and lowercase letters the rest of the way. So it's just asking them questions. What did you do? What did you do during winter breaks? Have them pick one thing that was fun. Like, I built a snowman. So, so then they would write those four use words. Use the lines and then draw a, snowman. draw a picture of it over here. Um, this one says, who did you spend time with? Maybe they spent time with their grandma. I went to grandma's. Make sure it's a whole sentence because if they said, if they say something like, my grandma, then that's not a, that's whole, not sentence, a whole sentence, right? It's like a little chunk. So I spent time with my grandma. That's a real sentence. Right. So we want them to write the whole sentence. The last one says, what was your favorite part? Probably opening presents. I, mean, let's <laughs> I liked to open presents. <laughs> so, you know, so anyways, have them tell us about winter break. We would love to see in their pictures and hear about. And I'd like to have them break. tell the class if they did yeah. that part to let them know what they did. Yeah, we if could have them read it. Part. Mm -hmm. Read it back to the class. So that's something fun that they can do and it works on their writing skills, which uh, the rest of us has been reading so far, but we also need to get them writing. And then the last thing oh, wait, was math. This? This one is Missing Adam's missing game. This is, this is our math game. And here's the board. So I think what you do, tell me, tell me if I'm wrong, but they, you cut these out as cards. They draw the card if they get it correct. Let's see, I think that they, they might go that many spaces. Oh, okay, that's right. So if the answer is one, then they'll go one they space. They get to go one space. If the answer is four, then they'll get to go four spaces. Okay. All right, they are supposed to play that game four times. So we hope that you um, have fun 
and and play these games so they don't forget. So thank you. Have Bye. a fun winter break. Yeah. Bye.